Now we're talking about the atrial fibrillation. We're gonna to talk today about how we diagnose the atrial fibrillation. Many times your doctor will come and say, let's do the EKG on your heart. EKG may be able to pick up the atrial fibrillation if you are in atrial fibrillation or irregular heartbeat that day. But if you're not in atrial fibrillation at that time or in that moment, your EKG may be okay. That does not mean you don't have AFib or it may come and go, which we call paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. It's a big word, but it's called paroxysmal atrial fibrillation. In that case, we may do further testing. And further testing is done to make sure your heart is gonna be okay, that it can withstand the atrial fibrillation. So a doctor may do the stress test, they may do an ultrasound of your heart called the echocardiogram. And we may do certain monitors like 24 hour Holter monitors or a long term 30 day event monitor. Or sometimes we may put a chip under your skin called the loop recorder implant. Those things helps to diagnose the atrial fibrillation. Sometimes people come with palpitation. They say, I get the palpitation once in six months. Or somebody presented with a stroke. In that case, we suspect atrial fibrillation. In that case, we may do this multiple testing to figure, figure out what's causing what. The treatment for atrial fibrillation is, includes different aspects. One of them is how do we prevent the stroke where we include the blood thinners. Blood thinners are very important in the life of the patients with atrial fibrillation. They help to thin the blood so we can prevent the stroke risk. That is the one line of defense in atrial fibrillation. Other line that comes is how do we treat the patient and how do we make you feel better? In that case, your doctor may talk about certain things like medications called calcium channel blocker, which include diltiazem, verapamil, or the beta blockers, which may include eternolol, metoprolol, and other medication. They help to slow down your heart rate. They help you to stop the AFib and may not let your heart rate speed up or run like a train. Other medication that may talk about is the antiarrhythmic drugs like flaconide, propofenone, dofetilide, ticosin, amiodrone, multac, dronodrone. All these medications are antiarrhythmics which helps your atrial fibrillation to keep under control where it doesn't let them come out. It suppresses your AFib. Your doctor will make up your plan with you and decide which medications are the best for you. And then there are other approaches when you're in atrial fibrillation, how do we put you back in rhythm? And we'll talk about that in the next chapter.